So my name is James Tinsley, and I'm from Trulick. Uh, with me here tonight are Kai Stinchcomb, raise your hand, and Chandra Chatterjee there in the back row. So here's the problem. $52 billion are stolen from the elderly in the U.S. every year. And this comes through a combination of scams, fraud, and misleading marketing. So whether it's a uh, late night TV purchase that comes with $40 in shipping and handling uh, that you didn't realize, or uh, a sweepstakes that you receive in the mail, you've won you know, $100,000, send us $1,000 to pay for the fees up front. Or maybe it's just the grandparent scam, where someone calls and says, hey, Grandma. And Grandma says, oh, who is this? You say, Grandma, don't you know? I say, is this John? Yes, it's John. Grandma, I need $1,500. I need you to wire it to me in Venezuela, where I'm in jail. Grandma's gonna wire that money. So for seniors, when these loss events occur, there's <coughs> shame and embarrassment that they've been taken for money. There's uh, concern about loss of independence. For family caregivers, there's worry about, uh, there's just one more added stress that they have to deal with that in an already very stressful role. And for those in the uh, caregiving industry, when someone shows up in the press having scammed a senior out of thousands of dollars, it reflects badly on everyone. So one in five seniors will experience some kind of financial abuse. And that means that in one in five families, there's going to be some really hard conversations around financial issues. So what we built is essentially a tool to soften the blow of decreased financial independence and empower seniors uh, to maintain the independent lifestyle that they want to live, something where they can spend their money and stay at home longer. And so what is it? It's a replacement for the senior's current uh, banking solution. So it's a prepaid debit card that works just like a regular Visa card when the senior is out to the movies with friends or buying groceries or donating to their favorite charities. But if your grandmother or your mom gives out the card, credit card number to uh, an unknown caller or a scammy sweepstakes, uh, it, we automatically deny the charge up front. So the way it works is that a trusted family member sets up the card with and configures a customized set of uh, rules based on the senior situation. So if there's been a problem with uh, giving money to unknown charities or, or um, you know, fake charities, uh, you can only allow, you can set, set up a whitelist to only allow donations to the three charities that we know and trust as a family. If there's been uh, an issue with ordering too much stuff from late night television, uh, which we hear is a big problem, you could block any transaction for the cards not present, so television, over the phone, um, or over the internet. And then if maybe you don't know that, you know that your mom is currently experiencing this problem, but you just want an alert because you think that any charge over, say, $300 is unusual, we can send you a text message when any charge like that goes through. So for seniors, it gives them back some, some amount of that independence. For caregivers, it takes away one more thing that's causing them stress and, and giving you know, wasting a ton of time that they could be spending with their loved one. And for continuing care organizations, what we're hearing is that it's potentially an opportunity to replace uh, complicated forms of cash management that are currently in place, where caregivers have to spend cash on behalf of paid caregivers have to spend cash on behalf of the senior. So. Our team is uh, phenomenal and growing. This, uh, on the right here, are our initial four members, uh, Deb, Claire, and then Kai and Chandra in the audience tonight. Um, we've almost doubled since this photo was taken three months ago. Uh, so there's myself and Gabe and Andy uh, on the operations and technology side. Um, we have backgrounds in payments and in social mission and in marketing and we have a uh, phenomenal set of, set of our own advisors uh, to add to, to the list of advisors that we've got through Generator, um, including uh, someone who was 
uh, previously the head of the National Association for Professional Geriatric Care Managers, which is one of the harder things to say. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you help? Uh, we are launching officially next month, putting cards in people's hands. We are looking for partnerships where we can work with your organizations to s help solve this problem for your customers. Uh, we're looking for joint, joint marketing opportunities, so any, anything where we can help get the word out. Um, I think you'll hear from us uh, generator companies over and over is that marketing channel is you know, our biggest problem at the moment. Um, and then if there's an opportunity for a really targeted tactical research pilot, uh, we're very interested in learning more about our consumers and learning more about you know, how does that conversation take place and how can we assist that conversation in taking place. So thank you very much. I'm over time, but uh, this is how to contact us. Thank you.